I know my mic is muted. I wasn't talking. Okay, I was just finishing my croissant. I was a little bit late. I have a good reason, though. The reason I was late was because I was sad, so you can't be mad at me. Whoa, that worked. Mmm, the croissant was so good. I bought it this morning for breakfast. But I got full, so I didn't eat it. And I ate it now instead, and it was delicious. Hello, Mr. Logs. Hello there. So I have a good idea for a deck. You guys are going to love it. It's the best deck ever. You guys are going to see the deck and be like, Whoa, that is the best deck I've ever seen in the entire world. This is the greatest deck ever. You guys are going to be like, Whoa, I can't believe I never thought of that deck before. Hmm. <clears throat> Logs, is a million times this week your excuse for being sad? Well... I mean, it's a pretty good excuse. Okay. Hmm. I will say, I'm not as sad today, though. I was talking to someone about it. I don't know if I should tell you who it was, but you guys know him. It always feels good to talk. Who? I don't know. Cafe Fico? Oh no, it wasn't Cafe Fico. It wasn't also a, it wasn't a he. I know I said a he pronoun, but that was a mistake on my part. Acid Goal of Destruction deck? Okay. I have a good one for that. Let me delete Bahalatia Insects. No, I can't do that. It hurts my soul too much. Let's delete this one instead. What are you guys saying? The Tenyu logs? I was going to make a Tenyu deck, but... Was it... Oh, uh, someone in chat guessed it correctly. Feet. Does the next step have things? So, Acid Golem of Destruction. Let me double check so I can get this correct. Acid Golem. Yeah, it's this one right here. I have this combo with Acid Golem of Destruction that I love, but it's completely countered by Link Monsters. <laughs> So as long as my opponent doesn't have Link Monsters, it works. Mm-hmm. Always be here for you. Yeah, I'm sure. 29k away from building a deck. What? Let me show you the card. Hmm. Hmm, why are you guys spamming feet? Why is the card a UR? Because Konami hates fun. So there's this card right here called... Um, oh, actually, I did this combo in my Rescue Rabbit series. I love this combo, but unfortunately it's completely countered by just Link Monsters. The card is called... I forget what it's called. I think it's called Stand Off or something. Yeah. This card right here. Which is funny because it's the card right before Evenly Matched. Stand Off and then Evenly Matched. <laughs> I guess I should play both of them. <laughs> Replace the Gammas with Epsilons because it's funny? No. The other day I found that the number archetype is only the second largest archetype and that there are more heroes than goddamn numbers. 
What? No, there isn't. Isn't there like a hundred numbers? That sounds like fake facts. That sounds like fake news. Dulongs is great to listen for the RuneScape grind. Heck yeah, get those, grind those those trees or whatever the hell you do in RuneScape. Here's the 256 plus? No, it's not. I'm gonna get some ice cream. Get some for me too, knife. You know what they say. Ice cream, when you get it, you have to get some for the Dulongs as well. I don't make the rules, I just enforce them. More than a hundred? Okay. When are you making a burn deck? Never. So, standoff right here, it has the effect where you target one face-up attack position effect monster on each side of the field. And if both monsters are still face-up on the field, you negate their effects. Then, if their effects were negated by this effect, as long as those monsters are face-up on this field in attack position, they cannot be destroyed by battle, are unaffected by other card effects, and also they cannot attack or change their battle positions. So basically, you just use this on Acid Golem and have a 3,000 wall that your opponent can't beat over unless they have access code talker. But it does give you an immune monster on your side of the field. Can't you just use that on Crazy Box? Yeah. <laughs> Where's Red Eyes? Nobody plays Red Eyes. Red Eyes is a garbage card. I got the ice cream? Good. Are there any ways to prevent my opponent from going into Link Monsters? Are you still working out? Because I just started a week ago and boy do I hate it and I love it at the same time. Yeah, I still work out. I feel like it doesn't do much. It's great. You see Tiki beat over it as well as Tyrando Infinity. You guys just don't understand the appeal of Standoff. It's so good. All that for just a 3,000 attack ultimate falcon. What is your favorite ice cream? Uh, I like Rocky Road, but I also like a double chocolate, like brownie. Just lots of chocolate. Ra's Disciple keeps them from making links. It also negates their effects though. Geomath material. Hmm, summon limit? No, that wouldn't work. I was honestly thinking about giving control of it to your opponent. I can still do that. Dimensional barrier doesn't work on link monsters. Do they even have dimensional barrier in this game? Dimensional barrier. What a garbage card. You cross out just in case. Now that doesn't work on X deck monsters at all. I wish it did. Early, you seem to be on time. Also, two streams in one day? Yeah, go check my stream schedule on Twitter. Cross out just in case? No. I run Dimensional Barrier against Mini? That's because you guys cheat. Okay, now I just need a good way to get out the Acid Golem of Destruction. And then this deck is perfect. I mean, you could Extra Link, right? Yeah, but your entire extra deck needs to be dedicated to Extra Link. True, I looked it up. Heroes have 228 as of 826-2021. Nope, that's wrong. Could you build Ursurex next? I'd rather not. Dogmatica makes them build their extra deck. I guess PK or Burning Abyss. Probably Phantom Knights, right? Run Kaijus in Spear Mode? No. Destruction Sword can lock them out of the entire extra deck. Oh, <gasps> that's true. It can. We can Destruction Sword lock. Is Axis Code Talker broken? Yes. PK Engine is fine, isn't it? 
I guess PK engine would work. I just don't like Phantom Knights. <laughs> Maybe they're making a deck around Drac Meteor? I have not. That sounds really hard. What about UAs? No, you guys all have terrible ideas. Let's look at the level 3 monsters. Tour guide. Hmm, what else is there? When it comes to level 3 monsters that put up lots of advantage. <gasps> Gilosaurus! Gilosaurus is a free monster from the hand. I'm not sure that's if that's super good. Ooh, Gilius the Star Beast. Ah, there it is. I was looking for it. I was like, where the hell is Speedroid Terror Top at? Oh yeah, Danger Suchi Noko. That's a good one. <gasps> Psychic Wheel Dealer. That's a good one. Danger Suchi Noko. Danger Jackalope. I think we're good. Oh, Virtual World Hime Nyan Nyan. If a level 3 monster is normal summoned or special summoned to your field while this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card as a tuner but banish it when it leaves the field. Cage Togage for a level 3. There is. I think his name's like Kamaguma or something. He's not needed. I'm good. I have all the cards I need. <gasps> You can pay 600 life points, add a punk monster from your deck to your hand, except no punk. Z Amin, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one punk monster you control, you get 600 attack. Is Virtual World fun? Yeah, it's pretty fun. How about Math Mex? You could possibly pull off an OTK shenanigans. Math Mex? Math Mex are level 4s only. I need level 3s. Terror Top? I did put in Terror Top, I just need to put in Take Tomborg. I need to do it before I forget. <gasps> Car Trooper. Ooh, Snowman Eater. Photon Saber Tiger. This one adds other Photon Saber Tigers from your deck to your hand. Tour Bus from the Underworld. Garbage. This is the one. Kage Mucha Knight. When you normal summon a level 3 monster, you can special summon this card from your hand, but it cannot be used as synchro material. Are the Nimble Monsters 2 or 3? They are all level 2. There's Take Tomborg. And you guys told me not to add Take Tomborg. SMH. Why is this card limited? Take Tomborg. <laughs> Access code gains attack based on the one link monsters it's for summons. Materials are fairly generic and can banish link cards for link rating. <gasps> Yowie! Add one punk spell from your deck to your hand. I'm not gonna play the stupid punk cards. Or maybe I might, I don't know. Hmm. <clears throat> <gasps> Tribute summon one monster. 
That's a free extra normal summon. Whoa. Proof of Prufalis. Wait, what if I just play a normal monster variant? Now, there's not really good normal monster support, though. Hmm. Thanks for the sub, Senkor. Sen Sonora Chris. And also, uh, Emsaris23 from earlier. And, and the bits from Call Me Mr. Ryan. And also from Silent2743. Go for normal and use Heat Wave? No. The combo's too inconsistent with only a, with a 40 card deck. It's a lot more better in a, a 20 card decks and dual links. Oh, <gasps> Neo Spacian Grand Mole? Are there any other one card starters for the level 3 engines? I don't think there are. I think it's as good as it gets. <clears throat> Let's look for XYZ monsters. That's a good XYZ monster. Acid Golem is a good XYZ. Dante is a garbage XYZ. Is this one good? Oh. That is not on their field. You can detach two materials from this card and negate the activation. It can't be targeted. <gasps> I'm sending a clip to Farfa. Dante garbage. What about it? Are you guys mad because I speak the truth? I don't think I'm banished with this deck, do I? The Phantom Knights of Break Sword, the Phantom Knights of the Rusty Bardish. Hmm. <coughs> Virtual World Shell Zha Zha sucks. Bamboozling Gossip Shadow also sucks. All of these cards are garbage. Every single one of them, without exception. Now, let's cancel. And then you toe, you toe pick. We can add in one of these. Hmm. We can add in one of these and one of these. So does that mean Dark Matter Dragon sucks too? Yes. Great old Eagle? No, I can't special summon that. Great Old Eagle is a level 3, but it's not like. Well, I could use the turbo out XC's monsters. The only good rank 3 engine seems to be Phantom Knights. Mm, I don't know about that. This is a Rongo Bongo deck? No, it's not. You guys just don't know anything about anything. There we go. Creature swap. Okay, this is the deck. I'm just gonna play two wubs of everything. We're going OCG over here. Tour guide. I like tour guide, but I don't want to craft other copies of it. Hmm. This works as a good starting off point. One you are? Okay. So, this one is called uh, Acid Golem Control. 
How about a copy of Instant Fusion? Uh, I think I'm good. Acid Golem, Standoff, and Creature Swap. Fire because of Acid. Yeah, let's go duel against some bots to try this out. Me when the acid golem is controlling. Deck just needs dragon capture jar to be perfect. Exactly. Thanks for the sub, Danzo777. Why are you only gold five? Because I hate this game. Not very many bots tonight. Good, that means I don't have to open the duel room. I hate opening the duel room. Ooh, look what I opened. Garbage. Actual garbage. <laughs> I don't have the combo. So I can go into this card. Or I can go into this card. DPE. <laughs> I'll just go into DPE. <laughs> and wait the fucking cards I put on the field. Because for some reason I thought I could do something else. Oh hey look, it's a bot. No it's not. Banned card? There's nothing banned about this. Virtual Abyss DPE decks, the Saga Burn Big Brain, exactly. Friendly reminder, Mr. Logs and everybody drink water. Yeah. I drink so much water that I'm basically a fish. Bots don't draw during the draw phase. Anaconda is banned, isn't it? Yeah. In the TCG, not in Master Duel. Master Duel has its own shitty ban list. Oh no, it's Comic Hand Control. Fuck, it might be. Ow, stop throwing stuff. Does Moon Water taste different from Earth Water? Uh, yeah, it tastes better. It's not corrupted by your guys' nasty atmosphere of nitrogen. You see, uh, my moon is next to a giant gas planet. So it gets lots of healthy juices in it. I love tunes. You guys need to stop. Your anus? You're an anus. You listen to your own music while you play the game? Yep. I sure do. Black out. We cast a spell. Can't delete me. I shine like a mirror. Make a Spotify playlist? I don't use Spotify. Also, it's just basically anime music. And covers from uh, Hollow Live and or Niji Sanji. Yeah, it's Comic Hand Control. This is my deck. He stole my deck. I invented this deck. Maytime, here you go. I'm in motion. Oh my god, the hand traps are level three. No, I didn't get to go into my Lava Golem of Destruction. Why do you guys keep throwing stuff at me? Is it because I'm in a maid outfit? Use your music playlist from your YouTube channel? Oh, I could do that. 
Oh my god, I'm getting non-bots. I love this. Also, I need to make the deck I was going to make before I forget about it. It's such a good deck. You guys have to see it. Well, as far as I know, chat really likes throwing things at VTubers. That's true. You guys do like to throw shit at VTubers. Hmm. <gasps> I got the combo. <laughs> You can only special summon once this turn. That's fine if my only special summon is DPE. I want a game with real cards. Go ahead, try to draw a card. I dare you, Galactic EX. <laughs> draw phase skipped due to the effect of Yowie. DPE, two bricks. Oh yeah, I did draw two bricks. Children, it's time for what? I'd love to listen to the YouTube playlist if you ever make it. It's just full of, like, anime and VTuber music. Like, I'm really into, a uh, Internet Overload Dose, or whatever it's called. Let me see. Internet Overdose? I fucking love this song, and then Iris did a... a cover of it, and I've been- I've watched it, like, ten times already. Is he going to quit? Probably, because I skipped his draw phase. Oh, I ranked up! Hold up, I need to make my other deck before I forget. You guys are gonna make me... Iris's cover is so good? Yeah, it's really good. You guys are gonna make me forget. Insect Law the Normal? Red Eye Zombie? Oh, I like the Red Eye Zombie. Skulls, Trick Stars... I can delete this one. I was gonna make another deck, but you guys distracted me. Uh, temp two, copy this deck. You know, in Magic, they let you have up to a hundred decks at once. Okay, so there's these cards in the game which are spirit monsters, called Spirit Monster A and Spirit Monster B. Let me find them real quick. I know Spirit has its own little distinction. Here it is. Spirit Monster A and Spirit Monster B. Oh, I'm so glad they're not yours. <laughs> so, if this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, they discard all cards in their hand during their next draw phase before they draw. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, draw cards until you have five cards in your hand. Whoa. So how you do this is you attack and then deal damage and win. Yeah, you got to lock them. We getting Brave Engine MD soon? I wish. All the bots are in diamond tier now? Cool, I just gotta avoid diamond. I'm pretty sure I helped them get to diamond by quitting on them this morning. I should also play Amaterasu at three. And I was thinking, you know, like, what is the greatest engine in order to get two tributes on the field really quickly? You guys want to see? Like, you've probably never seen this before, but it's it's an amazing engine that I discovered myself. It gets me two tributes on the board without using my normal summon, and with only one card from my hand. No, you guys are all wrong. You'll never guess. I'll give you two hints. So, here's the combo. Tenyi Spirit Ashuna can special summon itself from your hand, then it can turn into Monk of the Tenyi, then it can use its graveyard effect to special summon Vishuda from the deck, which is two monsters on the field for one monster in your hand. No Photon Sanctuary? Let me read Photon Sanctuary, that might work too. Also, one second, I need to search out my Tenyi cards. Send a worm from your deck to the graveyard, then if you control a face-up not-effect monster, you can add from your deck to your hand one Tendy monster with a different name from the monster sent to the graveyard. Um, This does work, because I do want the graveyard effect of Ashuna. Okay. What was the other one you guys said? I forgot already. 
Uh, does it shoot a lock into worms? It does, but only special summons. And I'm trying to normal summon these monsters. You see how, uh, you see the big brain play here? You see where I'm coming from? Photon Sanctuary? Oh yeah, why didn't you guys just tell me that earlier? Photon Sanctuary. Special summon two photon tokens in defense position. These tokens cannot attack or be used as synchro materials. You cannot summon any other monsters a turn activate this card except for light monsters. Fire, fire, light. Doesn't work. Only one of them's light. Um. Um. There's that other card. There's uh. There's that field spell card. Normal summoning sounds archaic. Dice Foon. There's also Monarchs Erupt. This is kind of crucial to the deck. <laughs> Yeah, and Malazimo the Emperor. Uh, Malazium of the Emperor. And then there's also some other Monarch cards. More specifically, uh, not Domain, um, March of the Monarchs. Tribute Summon Monsters cannot be destroyed by card effects. Also, neither player can target them with card effects. Brilliant Fusion. Brilliant Fusion's unbanned in this game, isn't it? <sighs> Send a Monarch spell. I don't think I can really use any of these other cards, except for the Monarch Stormforth. The Monarch Stormforth can be used. Eld Lich? Mm, no. You're gasping too much? I have never once gasped in my life. Layer of Darkness gives you tokens for tributes. Ah, I don't think I really need it. Sheena Burris, Beacock? No. What about Battle Fader to help you survive? I was thinking Battle Fader. Skill Drain? I need my skills, though. Let the man gasps? I've never gasped before in my life. You guys are a bunch of jokesters. What other floodgates can be used? Oh, one second. I already had it open. Let me go to my floodgates uh, section in Edo Pro. Floodgates, floodgates. I need some floodgates. Okay, here's every floodgate in the game that's ever existed in the game ever. Oh. Uh, I should probably move this up here. Okay. Rivalry of Warlords. Each player can only control one type of monster. Hmm. No, because then I wouldn't be able to tribute some in my cards. Kaiser Coliseum. I don't usually end on any monsters, though. There can be only one. Uh, I need at least two... T Worms on the field. <gasps> Lose one turn! Activate only if you control no special summon monsters. While there's a face up monster on the field, negate its effects during the turn that it was special summoned. If an effect monster is special summon attack position, it changes to defense position. <gasps> Europe doesn't work with the extra deck? I know, I'm gonna remove it. You could use Black Wing Engine, you can special summon. Oh fuck, I can't remove it if I'm using the tenyes. I forgot about that. <laughs> Hmm, I think tendies are more important than a rep. Let's see, lose one turn. There it is. Lose one turn works. Oh, you guys can't see what I'm doing. Summon limit also kind of works. What's up, dual logs from the dual logs, dual logs? Hello there. You can use a Blackwing Engine help you special summon? What Blackwing Engine? Wait, someone redeemed Game of Thrones lore ASMR? Part 2? Whoa, is Witch's Strike worth running? No. Hmm. One second, I need to look at my other floodgates. Quiet Life. 
If a monster is normal summon, that player cannot special summon the turn. If a player special summons, they cannot normal summon or set that turn. If you have no extra deck, neither player can special summon monsters from the graveyard. Neither player can tribute card. Neither player can banish. Royal Decree. Mind Drain. Neither player can activate the effects of cards in their hand. Neither player can activate effects of cards in the graveyard or that are banished. Cannot activate their effects. Isn't Soul Drain really good? Are you done with AGOD? What? Hippos? None of these floodgates are good enough. The only card I have is lose one turn. That works. I'll just throw in summon limit. That works good enough. Why do all the floodgates suck? Well, I could play Monk of the Ten Yi at one copy. And just play Monarchs Erupt anyway. You know, that would work. Because <laughs> I'm guaranteed to get at least one of them out, you know? Hmm. Can we get your Edo Pro list, like Floodgate list, Extenders list? No, those are mine. You can't steal them. I own them. Only I'm allowed to gaze upon them. Get rid of that and that and that. Get rid of that. Get rid of... I think Forbidden Droplet's really good in this deck. Get rid of that. <gasps> Nibiru? I can actually normal summon this card. Hold up, you guys. I need to set up this deck. Okay. I have too many... Too many... Too many cards. I need to lower the amount of cards in this deck by a factor of 500,000. Also, what was the name of that one card that was level 3? Level 3 and had an effect to special summon itself. Special... or did it special summon itself? I don't remember. Dr. Frankenderp. I need a video. Top 10 level 3 monsters that special summon themselves from the hand generically. Mm, Gazelle, Spinny. No, there's one specific card. I think it was something Patronus. No, it wasn't. Tribute. It gave me an extra tribute summon, I believe. I was just looking at it earlier. Hmm. I can't remember its name. It wasn't a high rarity card. Proof or something? Yeah, proof of proofless. Hip Hippo? No, like level 3 Psychic Monster that Special Summons? No, it was Proof for Proofless. If you control no Special Summon monsters, you can Special Summon this card from your hand. Also, you cannot Special Summon other monsters for the rest of this turn. You can only use this effect of Proof for Proofless once per turn. If this card is normal or Special Summoned, except during the damage step, immediately this effect resolves and Tribute Summon one monster. Ooh, it's a double summon for a Tribute Summon. Hip Hippo? No. This one special summons itself, which is better. Nimble Beer has the effect that when it's summoned, it can summon a Nimble Monster from the deck. True, but that's a normal summon. Have you made a waifu deck? No. Nobody plays waifu decks unironically. I'll just play all of these at one copy. <laughs> Oh, 
This should be good. Teddy Spirit. The Tricky Suchinoko. This is the Tenyi Spirit deck. Let me just batch generate the cards I don't own. Ooh, I opened a pack. <gasps> Souls of the Sublime. Save and return. The Tricky Suchinoko. Ooh, a free pack. Oh, it's because of Amaterasu. Ooh, and a Mono Iwato. Neat. Okay, so someone redeemed Game of Thrones lore ASMR. We'll do this for a bit. I didn't think people would redeem it twice. Cool, a sublime god. Hello there. It's me, the Game of Thrones lore ASMR. You can't throw any things at this spider. It's not set up in this room. See you in an hour? No, it's not going to be in an hour. Because we have to continue from Season 2 of Game of Thrones. So, here's how this goes. Dragon bait or trap tricks? Wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> One day in the in the Game of Thrones, there is this person known as Bran the Builder, and he built a giant 400 foot tall wall in the north. The thing is though, 400 feet is too tall. That's just structurally too big. George R. R. Martin, the person who created Game of Thrones, he obviously doesn't know anything because that's that's too big like even in the tv show they didn't make it 400 feet high because that was ridiculous they made it like 80 feet high that's that's more reasonable 400 feet that's that's insane it's too big the the one is too structurally unsound but anyways so they have a giant 400 foot <laughs> wall and um Whatchamacallit. Sorry, I was just reading a comment. Something about dual links and master duel? Probably not. Anyways, so there's this big old big old wall, Brand the Builder, he built it thousands of years ago. And he built it for a specific reason. And he, he got all of the members of the realm in order to donate people to, to watch it, to man it, to maintain the wall, and make sure it what didn't go into disarray. And they did this for thousands of years. And then we come to the modern day during the Game of Thrones. And they send, Ned sends his, his son, Jon Snow, to the wall because he's always wanted to go to the wall. Because one of Ned's brothers is on the wall and he always idolized him. And he thought the, uh, the wall was, was a very honorable place where you could go in order to, um, to be cool. Like his, his uncle. And then when he goes there, he finds out that the wall is only for people that are, like, prisoners, basically. Like, people are sent here instead of going to prison, or instead of being executed. And if there's any, like, noble people here, usually they're sent because they're second sons, and their family doesn't want them to have a, a secession war. So, since part of going to the wall is to give up all of your rights to own land and property and stuff... They, uh, they send them here so they can live out their lives on the wall. Because they think the wall is useless. It was built thousands of years ago, and it's just a big wall that does nothing, really. It, it does... There are people on the other side of the wall who are kind of dangerous. But they wouldn't be dangerous if they just lived on the other side of the wall. So they usually just keep out the wildlings, but they have a they have a good relationship with them too. They they even have like one of them on their side, where they go on the other side of the wall very regularly. And so Jon Snow he goes to this wall, which is this useless wall that's just like there for no reason, and um, 
He's he's a he's a lord's son. He's a bastard son, though. That's why they call him Jon Snow, because Snow is the name given to uh, to people who don't have a family name. And um, when he joins the wall, he he goes into like the training and practice, and he fights with other kids his age, and he wins. And he's he's like better than everyone. And he thinks he's 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 hot stuff. He's like, yeah, I can beat all these people in my sword plays. And so um, one of his, his teachers comes over and he's like, Jon Snow, you're so good at this. However, did you ever once consider the reason you're so good at this is because you were taught how to use a sword since birth? Whereas all these other peoples are just background slum people who uh, have never held a sword before in their life. Maybe you're not actually just super good at the sword and you've just had training where none of them had. And he's like, oh, I also have a wolf though. Oh, because he's a wolf. He has a dire wolf. He has like a big ass wolf named uh, Ghost because he's white. And it, it's really big. So he's it's, he's really intimidating too. And um, so Jon Snow, he's, he's, he's sad that he went to the wall and he's not as good as he thought it would be. But his uncle is cool. His uncle is just as cool as he thought it would be. Ben, uh, ben, ben Stark or whatever his name is. And then Ben is like, okay, uh, I can teach you everything about the wall. We're going to fast track you to like a higher position here, you know, because you're, you're a Stark, even though you have Snow as a last name. Don't worry, Jon Snow, I'll, I'll, I'll look out for you. But I have to go on an expedition first. And this is not a, uh, a death flag. But it was. Because he didn't return. And then Jon Snow's like, where's my uncle? And they're like, we don't know. We should probably go check. Because he was really important and we kind of need their funding. So, so they go to the other side of the wall and they take Jon Snow with them and a couple of other people, including Sam. Sam, he's a big fat boy. He's, he's a big, he's a big old, he's a fat, fatty, fat, 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 who's, uh, who, who used to be a, uh, he used to be a noble son, but he was like the first son, but he was also very weak and soft and his dad was very hard and strong and they tried to train him how to use his sword all his life, but he always just sucked at it. And he preferred to just read in his library. But then his dad came to him one day and was like, well, we have a new baby brother and um, he knows how to use a sword and we've been training him how to lead. So um, Sam, Sam, my boy, my little lad, my, my soft, fat little boy who's really fat and eats too much. You can either um, come with me on a hunting expedition where you're going to run into an accident or you can go to the wall. Your choice. So basically he didn't really have a choice because his dad was going to kill him or he had to go to the wall in order to give up his right so that his little brother could take over. So Sam obviously goes to the wall because that's better than dying. But he's he's not very good. So um, Jon Snow, since he's the best because he's, he's just better than everyone else with his sword, he takes Sam under his wing. He's like, Sammy, my boy, you're so weak. I hate you. Well, I don't hate you. I like you. You're the my only friend I have because... We're the only two people who were, uh, who were basically noble sons. We, we relate. Also, I have a big old dire wolf, so it'll keep us safe. So, so they go to the other side of the wall, and they go to this wildlings place, you know, to ask him some questions. Like, hey, where did my, where did my uncle go? And they're like, uh, I don't know. We did see him, but he's not here anymore. Also, you guys are free to stay here. Just don't, um, just don't touch any of my, uh, my daughter wives. And they're like, wait, what? They're like, yeah, these are all, these are all my daughters and my wives. Don't touch them. Uh, we don't have any boys here. It's just me. Don't ask any questions why, how that happened. And they're all like, okay, we won't. And then Jon Snow's like, wait, what? This is very uh, suspicious. And then the head guy's like, don't ask any questions. This guy is super good to us. He's a little weird. Sure. You know, with all of his daughter wives, but... Just, just go with it. Don't, don't do anything. And yeah, so, so they stay there, and then they, they go to the other side. And then what do you know? When, when they're um, really far in the north, in the expedition, past the wall, they run into something that changes all of their lives. Something so dreadful that they immediately know, oh, this is why the wall was built. And then we go back over to Daenerys, all the way over on the other side of the world. She just stole some slaves. This is how Game of Thrones work. They always just, like, don't show you anything, and then they go to the side of the world. So, so Daenerys just got a whole slave army. 
And she's like, um, I, I have my Unsullied and my three baby dragons. We are going to uh, take over this, this next land. Marine. We're going to go in there and just beat them up. And when they march over there, they're like, hey, maybe you shouldn't just uh, attack a fortified city with your baby dragons and your slave army. We can actually just like sneak in and take it from behind. And Daenerys is like, um, okay. So they do. And then the head mercenary who does that, who convinces her, uh, she, she likes him. So they start dating. They start going out in secret. And then they have a new city, a marine. And she's like, awesome. We got two cities on our own. We got a whole bunch of soldiers. We got funding. Now what we should do is wait here for five seasons and do nothing. And everybody else is like, yeah, let's do that. So, so they wait in Marine, and they just kind of don't do anything for five seasons. Um, but then, like, a, a couple of seasons later, Barris and Selmy shows up. You see, Barris and Selmy, um, well, I guess we have to go back all the way to King's Landing. So, when, uh, when Joffrey was first put on the throne, because he's a little shit, uh, he, uh, he wanted to dismiss Barris and Selmy because he was old. He's like, I, I need my five king's guards to be young, healthy, fit men. And Barrison, you're you're an old man. You probably suck, and I hate you. Just go. Uh, we'll, we'll demote you to something else. And Barrison's like, no, but the hand of the king, the 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 king's guards, we, we serve for life. He's like, well, you're old though. You're gonna die anyway. And Barrison, uh, he's like, no. I don't, I don't think you guys can fire me. I quit. And they're like, you can't quit. And he's like, other king's guards, seize him. We'll put him in the dungeon. And Barrison uh, kicks their all, all their asses. He's, he's an old man, but he's strong as hell. And then he leaves. He's like, I'm going to go over and find Daenerys and offer my, my sword to her because she's actually the true king. And Varys told me where she's at. So he goes all the way over to Marine and finds Daenerys. And she's like... <gasps> You, you didn't save my dad when he was killed. He's like, um, yeah, but I know everything about King's Landing. You're going to need me if you go in. Plus, I'm super loyal to you. And Daenerys is like, okay. So, um, the, the people in Marine they, they stage a coup against Daenerys. And then she flies away in one of her dragons. And Barristan Selmy has to uh, stop the coup. But uh, Daenerys is gone. She, she's just out of there. So Barrison takes over. And this is kind of like where the books and the TV show diverge. Because in the in the TV show, Barrison dies here. But in the books, he survives. And he kind of takes over for her. So so Barrison Selmy is, is leading Marine for her. And actually doing a good job. It, it's actually better off with, with Daenerys gone. <laughs> but that that's that's where the, the books end for her story. And in the in the TV show. Um, stupid shit happens, which we can just ignore. So, yeah, that that's... We, we can just kind of end Game of Thrones ASMR here for now. There's there's more to talk about. We have to go over what happened with Jamie Lannister, the Kingslayer. Also with Arya Stark and Sansa and Littlefinger, because they're all very important. But I think we've completed all of Book 1 to an extent. And uh, lots of other parts of the book. Plus, you know, we set up Jon Snow and, and what's, what's beyond the wall in the north. Who knows? Uh, how does Barristan Stelmy fit uh, or lead Marine? I don't even know because we haven't got that from the books yet. Well, actually, we, we do kind of know because... Oh, I forgot about the Iron Islands. The Iron Islands happened too. <gasps> well, whatever. Let's go back to Yu-Gi-Oh. Wonder how much of Elden Ring GRM actually wrote? Probably a lot. Build the deck, smoke grenade of the thief, hand sniping. Dark Devil. Don't you know that's just called Infernobles? That's literally the most efficient way to do that. You want me to play Infernobles? By the way, are we getting a story time channel with all these stories? Heck no. 
That was a quick hour? That was like 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> oh my god, Infernopolis. <laughs> One second. Snipe those hand traps. Change accessories, the three main cards. Yamada Dragon and Ashuna. Why do you guys keep throwing stuff at it? Smoke grenade. Smoke grenade. Grenade. Infernoble. Hey, Hunk, thanks for the shout out. Yeah, you tell him, Pomu. Redeems is taking up my space. What about it? What is lurking on Twitch? I don't know. So sad how Game of Thrones ended. Yeah, the TV show. It did not end very goodly. Oh, this is it. This is Infernobles. Mr. Lox has pomooed 53 times. I have never once said pomu. That is a lie and a slander. Wow, I don't have any of the Infernoble cards. What packs do I have to open in order to get these? Nothing, they're all SRs. I have enough for SR shit. Batch generate? Uh, wait, 90? One, two, three. Oh, I need to craft three. Do I need two Isoldes? I don't think I need two Isoldes. I'm gonna remove one of the Isoldes. Infernoble suck. Yeah. 66 viewers, PP Riot, PP Riot. Mr. Logs have been swearing a lot since last week. I have never once said a swear word in my life. Infernobles are great. Do 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 Isoldes. Insoldes what? But 90% of that is Isolde. I don't need two Isoldes. Ooh, look! I got Alter Guys Multifaker. That's useless. Does this have Isoldi? Should I open packs from here? I can open 10. I'll do it. Come on, give me Isoldi number two. Hmm. This is useless. Yeah, Gotham is also useless. How do you pronounce how do you spell infernoble? What? Any good cards for a silent swordsman gimmick deck? I can't think of it on top of my head. Is there such thing as good cards for a silent swordsman deck? Hmm, I don't know, I'd have to try it myself. What's with prohibition? That doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna get rid of that. And I'll just play another cross out designator. Do I have Ash Blossom? I do. Do I have Maxi? I do. Why am I playing. What is my combos? Is it just. Mecha Phantom Beast combos. Hmm. Where's DPE? Hmm. Good question. Only one of each search equip? Yeah, don't you need more than that? 
the rule isn't to have fun. But in Duel Link, Silent Swordsman is broken. Why one cross on one prohibition? I have no idea. Hey, Mr. Duel Logs, how do you spell stun seeds backwards? Is it D's nuts? <laughs> Smoke grenade. This should work. Smoke Grenade. Wait, isn't Smoke Grenade unlimited in this game? Eh, whatever. Summon Neo Connector into Aqua Dolphin, go his soul day and go from there. Go into what from there? I haven't played Infernoble since, uh... Since that one card was still in the game. Link Ross. You guys remember Link Ross? Is Infernoble just Halkondong spam? Yeah. But it's searchable and reusable with Charlie, so you only need one. Good. Wow, what a garbage selection pack up next. Wait, what? Did they announce new cards? Oh, someone on Twitter just called me a weeb. How do they know? I thought I hid that well. Okay, what card do I search? This card? Neo Space Connector? What do I do next? Do I normal summon Neo Space Connector? Do I activate its effect to bring out Aqua Dolphin from the deck? Take a look at the announcement after the duel. Infinite Impermanence? Oh no, does that mean all my plays are stopped? Axis sister, imagine using Twitter. I know, right? Cringe. I mean, you're a weeb? No, I'm not. Prove it. What does this card do? Select a card to send to the graveyard? I don't feel like reading any of these. Ooh, I can go into this card. Or, wait, what do I even go into with Isolde? Oh, I know what to do. You watch too many animes and read too many mangas? I do! I love animes and mangas. Who do I add to my hand? Gearfried? Okay. Activate Isoldi. One card. Uh, Smoke Grenade. Which one of these is a tuner? Warrior, Warrior... Wait, none of them are tuners? What the fuck? Which one do I send? None of these are tuners. <gasps> Is ultra long and wonky? Oh, treat as a tuner this turn. Oof. Once per turn, target one phase up monster you control. Equip it. Wait, I have a graveyard effect? <gasps> what does this do? I think it just equips from the graveyard. No maidens? Who has maidens? One of them becomes a tutor? Yeah, the squeaker. I only like half know what all these cards do. So stop yelling at me. Wait, what? How come I can't go into Aurora Dawn? Did I screw up? What does he sold they do? I'm stuck into Warriors for the rest of the turn? Is that it? Squeak Knight? You can only spell summon once from your extra for the rest of the turn? What the fuck? Get Isolde. 
Get ready for Nibiru? Yeah, I have Nibiru. I don't even care about their Photon Thrasher. Of course, John, how Cleaver Rex? Captain, not Charles. Captain Roland, I mean. Activate Roland's effect? Yes. I don't know what he does. You were supposed to send four equips to the graveyard with a soul to summon a level four tuner off of a soul, and then she and us all go into Halk. I didn't have a level four tuner in my deck, though. Because he was in my hand. <laughs> I also don't have four equips to send. You want to pull Infernoble Renaud, the guy on the horse? He gets to become a tuner when he's special summoned by the effect. If you control a fire war monster, you can special summon this card. From where? Oh, he activated Nibiru. There is a level 4 Infernoble Archetype? No. Got squeaked by the rat. Why am I playing the stupid rat then? Select a card to send to the graveyard. Wait, what? Select a card to add from your deck to your hand. What's happening now? Oh, that was Renald's effect. Ooh, Harpy's Feather Duster. Token beat down? No, I got this. Don't yell at me. Recheck the archetype. I made this before. No. Whoa, breakthrough skill. That's an old one. Get squeaked. Immortal Phoenix. If this card's normal, equip one fire warrior or one Gemini monster from your hand or deck to this card as an equipped spell that gives this card 500 attack. If this card is owner's control, destroy by opponent's card while they equipped with a Gemini monster. You can special summon as many of those Gemini monsters in your graveyard as possible as they affect monsters that gain their effects. <gasps> I should go into Sublution. Wait, what does this card do? One your monster you control, equip this card to it. Oh, they just equip. That's good, right? Activate this. The one that equips a rat has activated its effect. Would you like to activate the effect of a card? No. Okay, and then we're just going to equip all of these to a mortal phoenix. And then equip Renald. We have the Infernobles, and then this card, uh... This card gains 500 attack when this monster is activated. Oh, I still can't beat over it. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I still can't beat over it! I would need to use the effect twice. Can I use the effect twice? I think I can. Activate the optional effect of the card. Activate the optional effect. Select. Oh fuck, am I negating my own effect? <laughs> I thought I was using it twice. Just drawn to brain control? Shut up. My Infernal Deck combo can rip two cards out of the hand with Aqua Dolphin and Smoke Grenade as well as make your opponent skip their main phase one. How are you skipping their main phase one? You negated your own effect? Yeah, I did. Drawn to change of heart? No. Activate Infernoble Captain Roland. I'm not sure why its equip effect is a quick effect. Whoa, he lost the card. Raigeki? Uh-oh, I'm gonna get destroyed. Oh no, I'm gonna lose to the token. 
Use the bamboo sword cards? Never. I need to read these cards. That's a Stoffalo. Hmm. So just special summons to start from the hand. This one equips a card from your deck. So if you equip Squeaker, it can special summon itself. So I guess that's the combo with Sublition Knight. Okay, what does Knight Oliver do? Another level four, well, the level four tutor. And then one fire war monster or one equip spell from your hand or face it filled to the graveyard. Swap some of this card from your hand as a level one monster. Equip this card to that monster. Mmm. I saw a post about this on Reddit. Did you now? Special summon. Start the damage to have this card attacks. You can equip one face up monster in the field to this card. Oh. Oh, I read that wrong. I could have just stole the token. Why didn't you guys tell me that? <laughs> Gemini Ablation? Sublimation Knight? Hmm, if you send four equips with Isolde, you can summon her from the deck. Do you need to summon her from the deck? Is that part of the combo? I'll add in one more equip spell. Smoke grenade, caps lock. Can you equip tokens? I don't know. This card is Synchro Summon, activate this effect. During the end phase of this turn, send Equip Spell from your deck to the graveyard, then add a Warrior Monster from your deck to your hand. During the main phase, this card is in your graveyard. You can target one Warrior Monster you control. Equip that card as a quick effect. Okay, and it's also a tuner. Gotcha. Destroy it. During the main phase, set the turn this card sent to the graveyard. Target a warrior monster you control. Special summon this card from your graveyard as a tuner. And if you do equip that monster, you control to this card as an equip spell card. You can only use this effect once per turn. Hmm. It's also level 5. Charge Warrior, Pegasus, Savage, Infernoble Emperor Charles. What is the Auroradon combo that actually gets these cards out? Check the bamboo cards. I know what the bamboo cards are. I just don't want to play them. Hmm. The combo's a mess. I don't even know how you'd win it in this version. The one I learned was Tether Wolf instead of O-Lion. Yeah, Tether Wolf seems better. I'm not sure why this one has O-Lion. I'm going to go take this into solo mode to practice with it. You can equip tokens. Tokens disappear when they're removed from the field. Mmm. Let's see. Who is a good deck to practice against? The dangers. 
Oh, wine is for Aurora Dawn? Yes. Fuck all you guys! Fuck you all! I hope I fucking go to hell! Yeah, yeah, you tell them, Pomu. You get to choose to go first? Yeah, Pomu's Madge. Yeah, you tell him, Pomu. Disquieting danger. I go into Space Connector to summon Aqua Dolphin from deck. Activate Aqua Dolphin. Ditch this card. Uh huh. I'm looking at their hand. 1300. Uh oh. Uh oh. I can't discard any of them. So I take 500 damage instead. Okay, now I can go into Isoldi. Weird that Isoldi never got banned. Well, nobody plays Isolde. Select a card to add from your deck to your hand. I'll add Gear Freed for next turn. Then I can activate Isoldi, two Tales of Noble Knights, in order to bring out. Sublation Knight. Boba. Select a card to equip. If I equip Squeakers. If this card is special summon, target one of your fire war monsters. Add it to your hand. I can use Squeakers, but it's so bad. If I summon the card, oh, I can summon this card, activate the effect, select a card to target. What am I doing with this? Adding it to my hand. Ooh, this card searches, right? But do you run O-Lion or Tether Wolf? I run O-Lion. Select a card to add from your deck to your hand. <gasps> one of these is a tuner, right? This one. I can special summon it. Just don't activate its effect. I wasn't gonna. Select a card to send to the graveyard. Squeaker. Fuck Squeaker. Piece of sh Oh fuck, I have too many cards on the field. I have way too many cards on the field. <laughs> Wait, this is a tuner too? Just don't say yes after summoning the mouse, but I need to in order to turn it into a tuner. Okay, we have zero, zero, 001. If I bring it out, I'm going to have a whole bunch of tokens on the field, but I won't be able to bring out this card. So what I need to do is I need to get rid of two of the cards to go into... Hmm. I run O-Lion Despot 001, two Aurora Dawn tokens, and one 001 to go into Power Tool Dragon, which is part of a combo. O-Lion, Power Tool Dragon, Emperor Charles. Hmm, well, I can't do that, though. Ooh, Destrudo. Destrudo is a level 7. Are there any good level 7s in the extra? There's Wind Pegasus. I wouldn't say that's good. You could summon Herald the Infernoble and then the level 3. Yeah, I might as well do this. That way I have the materials, the room on the field to actually go into my stuff. Okay, and then we go into Aurora Dawn. Activate Mecha Phantom Beast. Typical Aurora Dawn combo. Imagine Aurora Dawn not being banned. And then Deskbot 001. Oh! <gasps> What do I do next? What do I do next? I'm scared. Baron de Fleur? When do I go into Emperor Charles? Then one equip spell, then add a warrior monster. Aurora was the problem. Should I go into it now? Yes. Special summon. One mecha phantom beast. Aurora Dawn. Yeah, now I can go into Emperor Charles. 
but I can link climb a little bit first. Let's see, Emperor Charles is level 9, so I have a 1, a 3, a 2, and a 3, and a 4. Hmm, my line, how do I include the skip mode? It's main phase 1. You can go into Savage Dragon. I can, but I'm not trying to go into Savage Dragon. I think what I can do... Let's see, so we have 4 plus 3... Seven, I can go into a seven, and then I can use two in order to go into a nine, so I can get Pegasus in the graveyard. But I can also climb a little bit more before I do that. If I go into a five first, then I can get a token on the field, and then I can have a six and a seven, but then I won't have any more tuners. But this is a tuner, so it's a five plus three, mm, but I would need a four. Oh, I have Herald of Arc Light. I think you just make the level 5 tuner first? Yeah, I think so. So we do these two. Go into Infernoble Knight Captain Charles. Activate its effect. Activate its effect. Mecha Phantom Beast O Lion. This is where the bamboo cards come in handy. Why? The bamboo cards suck. Oh, wait, it would have had something actually sent to the graveyard. I kind of wasted it. Okay. Now, let's see. We have a 1 plus 3. That's 4. Plus 3. That's 7. I can go into a 7. And then that won't do anything. I have a 5, 8. A 5, and a, that's 9. I have a 9 right there. And then I have a... Seven, a seven right there, which is also useless. Hmm. Or I can go, let's see here. Wait, wait, wait. One plus four, that's five, eight. No, that's not going to work. Bamboo tastes good. I think you make the level five first. Just replay for the combo. It's confusing, but I recorded and just asking. I can look up the combo. I'll probably do that after this. I'm trying to figure this out with as few cards as possible. Charles. Ooh, he has his own summon animation. Is this linear equation canon type math? Yes. Then, let's see. One, I can go into a Pegasus. Which is definitely useless. There we go. Then I can equip a card to Charles. Activate the effect? No. End phase. There is no applicable card in the deck. Activate Emperor Charles? Yes. I will equip Smoke Grenade of the Thief. Activate... Ooh, I can equip another card? Uh... Astolofo. Activate Charles. Destroy Smoke Grenade. I did it! I destroyed Smoke Grenade! Whoa. That was so easy! I can't believe this was even difficult a little bit. <laughs> Let me see. In for Noble... Master Duel. In for Noble Combo Videos. Yes, let's look at the combo videos. Oh, he destroyed it? What the hell, man? Well, I'm just gonna quit real quick. Also, I'll be right back.
Okay. I'm back. I had to see why it was so cold in my room. It's because the AC was turned really low. Oh yeah, I forgot it's like this. Why did I zoom in? Okay. These are Infernoble combos. Uh huh. They summon Oliver. They go into two tails of the Infernoble Knights. Yeah, they add gear free. That's what I do. It sends Secret Samurai. And then goes into Halki Febrax. Despot 001. Into Aurorodon. Oh! Then it brings back Despot 001 and goes into. Yeah, I don't play that card. <laughs> A level 4 tuner. And then it brings out Cult Wing. And then Despot 001 comes back. Then it goes into Power Tool Dragon. Searches three more cards. This is way different from my combo. Draco Sack, what the fuck? Oh my god, this combo's dumb. <laughs> I'm not doing this. Star Riser. This combo, I'm not doing that. Oh yeah, let's get rid of that. <laughs> and this part is where you drop into Biru on the board. Yeah, exactly. What the hell was that combo, man? Mine is simpler? Yeah, that one is too convoluted. I'm not doing that. Yeah, that one uses uh, Colt Wing, not Tether Wolf. Why well, don't I use Tether Wolf? I use O Lion. You believe me? Put my record according to YouTube. My combo is messed up, but badass when done correctly. We'll upload it to YouTube then. Thanks for the 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 subs. What is that? The sub sensi stonks. Okay, I'm gonna look at a different combo. Colt wing deck dual master. Dual gameplay. Ooh, fancy. Versus the prank kids. Ooh, okay. I like this guy's board. Oh, fuck. It also uses that combo? Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. Oh, fucking shit. Oh, I just gotta change the playback speed. It put it at like 360 for some reason. Here's the next one. So the level four. It goes into Power Tool Dragon. Searches out a random ass card. Then it goes into Draco Sack. And then it goes into that card. Why? Then it summons two tokens, which brings back Despot 001. Then goes into Riser Dragon, who's going to send that card to the grave, and then it's going to destroy that by tributing itself. Which brings back Cult Wing to special summon two more tokens. And then Despot 001. And then Riser Dragon into Captain Roland. Okay. And then it summons the Infernoble from the hand. Oh, 
There's Savage Dragon. Arc Light. Living Fossil. And then Charles. This combo's dumb. I'm not doing that. Rip cards out of your hand. Crazy Infernoble combo. Hello, everybody. It is Hello. I. Yours is also doing that combo. I don't like that combo. Are there any combos that don't use Power Tool Dragon and Draco Sack? Uh, oh, this one doesn't, I think. <laughs> he got into Biru token. Oh, oh, he's recovering from a Nibiru token. Okay, this one works. Where is it at? He's recovering from a Nibiru token. Should make an appliance there, deck? I did make one. Okay, he has two cards in the field. He uses Living Fossil. He goes into sublimation. How can you fight Brax? And he brings out 001 and then they go into Auroradon. And then they go into three tokens plus 001. And then tributes to. Whoa! They tributed that card. Metal Marsher. Get another token. Marshall Middle Marcher. I think this is the deck I have. It brings back Mecha Phantom Beast. One of those. And then it goes into a Roland. And then it goes into a Savage Dragon. Then Metal Marsher goes into Charles. Oh, okay. So you go into Metal Marsher. That's how you do it. I get it now. I understand noble knights. I'm a genius. Whoa. Let me just make some adjustments to my deck real quick. Looks simpler? Yeah, this one's much better. Okay. First, let me just add in a low level tuner to my hand. Deck. Let's see. Smoke Grenade. Edit deck. Why isn't Hulk banned? The card is the reason so many good cards are banned in the TCG. Because mm, Konami's dumb. Okay, so let's see here. We need a Warrior Tuner Monster. I know there's a level 1 Warrior Monster. How come nobody plays that one? Here, we'll go Fire. Uh, warrior tuner distinction I can add this one and remove one of the sublation knights that works okay let me test it out again how about mr. logs blank no where is the danger squad Squeaker's level 1 tuner, isn't it? Uh, it has an effect that can treat it as a tuner. Aurora Dawn is infinitely worse. Sublation is a starter. You probably want three. No. Sublation is a garbage starter. See, Squeaker is a union monster. You can treat it as a tuner if you summon it properly. If you control a fire war monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Okay, I'm pretty sure Despot 001 is fine. I can go straight into Crystron How Cleaferbrax, or I can go into this in order to set up my hand first. 
E. Soldi, two tales of noble knights. Search out gear freed from the deck. There it is. Halk can go the heck. That's not very nice. And then we do two cards. Smoke grenade and this card. Oops. Please stop asking me if I want to negate my own effects. Thank you very much. Then... I know unions were monsters that equipped to other unions. Well, they didn't have to equip to other union monsters. They would just equip to another monster that was useful for its thingies. I like the XYZs of the cards. Me too. Activate Mecha Phantom Beast Auroradon. I did it. I remembered all of the combos. Okay, and then what was I supposed to do here? I think what they did was bring out Coltwing from the deck. Not Coltwing. Oh, Lion. Like this. Then they went into Martial Metal Marcher in order to bring it back, but I think you go into Infernoble Captain first. Halk is the reason for Aurora Dawn being banned. Sounds like an excuse. Marshall Metal Marcher with 001, I believe. Maybe. That's what the guy in the video was doing, though. Despot, no! Martial Metal Marcher now, right? Halk is fair and balanced. Halk is broken. Fuck, Martial Metal Marcher is level 3, isn't it? Oh no, I blame you guys for this. You can't go into Marcher without 001 and an O-Lion. Ooh, I can go into Charles now. Let me see. Marshall Metal Marcher, level three. Let's try again. The gaslight logs. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just learning combos. <clears throat> Blaming other cards for his mistakes. When have I ever made a mistake before? That's the real question. Aqua Dolphin. <gasps> Can I special summon this card from my hand? I can. Second, do I need these cards in the grave? No, I want them in my hand. I know my opponent doesn't play hand trap, so I'm not gonna bother. Okay, E Soul Day. Gear freed for the next turn. Then, Isolde again, two cards, this card and that card, to bring out this six samurai monster, which also allows me to bring out Oliver. Select a card to send to the graveyard. I want it to be level one, right? I don't remember, but it's level one now. Wait. I've been following your clip channel for a while. Finally got this stream. I know nothing about Yu-Gi-Oh! Beyond top tens, but I love 
listening to you play the game? Why, thank you. I'm sure this is going to be a little bit confusing, though. Okay, and then we go into Aurora Dawn next. Is this a level 1 non-tuner? It is a tuner, unfortunately. Activate Mecha Phantom Beast Tokens. How the hell do you even go into Metal Marcher? I don't remember how that worked. Because Metal Marcher is only level 3. I can't go into that. If I attribute itself in something else and then I bring out the level 2, that doesn't work either. May time? Here you go. Hmm. Let me rewind this video a bit. How did they get Marcher on the field? What? Can Metal Marcher be used with a tuner and a non-tuner? And a tuner? So they just had a level 1 on the field? Oh, that's how they did it. How the fuck do you get a level 1 on the field? I need to get a level 1 non-tuner on the field. This card... Hmm. <laughs> what game do you find more complicated? MTG or Yu-Gi-Oh? Yu-Gi-Oh for sure. Yu-Gi-Oh is ten times more complicated. Hmm. Hmm. I'll just do this. Net decking at its finest? Well, not really. Because I'm not doing what they're doing. But also, kind of, because I did net deck. I'm just doing it a little bit differently. I have Emperor Charles available now. So we have a 2 plus 3 plus a 4. 7, 9, there it is, Emperor Charles. However, there's also a 1 over here. I can go into level 5 first, right? Yeah, I can go into the level 5, and then I still have Emperor Charles available. So we do these two. To go into Captain Ronaldo. And Mecha Phantom Beast O-Lion. I got it. I got Emperor Charles. I did it. Charles, my dude, my wonderful man. Level 5, level 4. I did it. I went into Emperor Charles. And then I can special summon this one to the field. And activate its effect in order to add one of these cards back to my hand. Squeakers! I can't use it for anything. <gasps> Barone! What I need are more copies of Herald of Arc Light. When are they adding Cupid to the game? Cupid serve. That's the best card. Good morning. Hello there. Equip. Destroy... wait, what? Ooh, it equips to equip. Then I can destroy Smoke Grenade. And then I can rip any card from my opponent's hand. Which triggers its effect to draw and discard a card. Hmm. Oh, that's why it has this effect. So it can trigger Emperor Charles during your opponent's turn. 
Oh, so you really want this card in the graveyard. Dude, I wish more people played Noble in for Nobles in this game so I knew the combos better. The Danger Field spell? Nobody plays the Danger Field spell, it's garbage. Activate Infernoble Charles? Yes. Had an equip card? Yes. Okay. Well, I don't really care about winning now. I just. I just. don't care. Squeakers, Ablation Knight. How is this a combo starter again? I don't remember. Activate Infernoble Charles. We will destroy one of these cards. Forty five hundred attack points. Well, he's pretty big. And beefy. Just press buttons, that's what I'm doing. Wow, this bot is fearless. Sword Soul's everywhere, it's like the next Drytron. Isn't Sword Soul easier to play against than Drytron? Squeaker Knight. Okay, I understand how the combo works. And the fact that I don't actually really understand it. I keep making mistakes. So I'm ready to go into a duel room against a person. Infernoble monsters give Charles immunity to different effects if you equip him. Do they? Splite is tier 0 the TC OCG. Well, decks are the exact same cards, even the side and extra. Literally everyone net decked the first list. 15 hand traps in the main, by the way. Really did they? That's that's funny. Everyone you said you were gonna stream less, not more. I am streaming less and not more. You guys just don't understand. Normal summon aqua dolphin. Uh huh. <laughs> a tuner banish one fire monster from your hand or graveyard spell to summon this card from your hand then you can make this card's level become a level of the banished monster to have a fire warrior monster this card's equip card you can send one fire monster or one equip card from your hand or fill to the graveyard spell to summon this card from your hand from your hand I can only bring out one of these cards uh, it doesn't really matter It's a Numeron player. Do Numeron players even have emotions? Everybody knows they're emotionless machines of death. Oh fuck, I screwed up the combo. I made a mistake. Stop yelling at me. Why is this going slow? Indie players. <laughs> I immediately made a mistake. I was supposed to go into Isolde first to get advantage. Not whatever the hell this is. Zero zero five. Zero zero five. Mecha Phantom Beast. Target one card on the field to special summon. Bring back Mega Phantom Beast O Lion. Special summon in for Noble Knight Captain. 
This should get smoke grenade in the graveyard. The only problem I made was uh, not having gear freed in my hand. Otherwise, the combo is still basically the same. Hmm. Nope, I take that back. This is not the same at all. Herald of Arc Light. Stream is lagging a bit. Uh, Master Duel is lagging a little bit for some reason. Oh, I guess the stream is lagging too. Infernoble Knight Charles. Okay. End phase. Select a card to send to the graveyard. Smoke grenade. Select a card to add from your deck to your hand. Ooh, I get gear freed anyway. Activate Charles. Smoke grenade. Equip a card from the deck. Sure, whatever. Activate Charles to destroy smoke grenade. Then, rip any card from my opponent's hand. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe Harpy's Feather Duster. That way they can't search out their card because I'm going to infinite impermanence as soon as it hits the field. This is the second time I've looked at his hand. I wonder if he's playing Numerons. Maybe. <gasps> he drew into a Kaiju? Fuck. That's annoying. He's dead? I'm not dead. That's just annoying. I'm still good to go. Token for protection. Exactly. What is he gonna do? Nothing. Need to toggle on to smoke again on your opponent's draw. Wait, how do you smoke during your opponent's draw phase? What's the combo with that? Immortal Phoenix. Eat the ship. Is this a bot? No. Hello, dual logs. Hi. Oh, he's reading the effect of Immortal Phoenix Gear Freed. He doesn't know that it equips. I don't have any equip cards on the field, though. The level 5 Synchro in the Grave should be able to equip? Oh yeah, that should be able to equip. They have a set droplets? They sure do. <gasps> if you control War Monsters, special summon this card from your hand. I want to special summon this card from my hand. Flint Fire Lady. Okay. Can I go into an XYZ summon? Oh! <gasps> I can go into Isolde, Two Tales of the Noble Knights. I can go into Nightmare Phoenix for 1,900 points of damage. I'm going to do that. I don't have anything in hand to send for Forbidden Droplets. Have you seen the new selection pack? No. Forbidden Droplets? Oh my god, they don't know I don't have any cards in my hand. You absolute buffoon. Rescue Rabbit Adventure Part 4? Never. Oh! Access Code. Is Access Code game if I pull it out? Because that's an extra 2,000 attack. On top of 2,400. 44 plus 3,000. I'm doing the math right now. No, it's not, because I'd have to go into Gear Free too. Stop yelling at me, I did my math wrong. Well, 
Wait, what the fuck was that? Oh, yeah, it banishes and it comes back in two turns. Sex code talker. <laughs> Making sure you don't pretend you don't see it. Have you had to deal with content slash original idea steals and how? No. I don't give a shit if someone steals my ideas. In fact, it's kind of weird that I think some people get upset on my behalf when someone does an idea that I've done before. Infernoble. Like, you want to make Yu-Gi-Oh! Top 10s? <gasps> Go for it. You want to make ban list videos? <gasps> Go for it. Imagine stealing Top 10. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. Do whatever you want. I think it's really weird that there are like some people who gatekeep ideas. You can't own an idea. Ideas are free. Executions what matter. Yeah, like you guys are free to copy the top tens if you want. You know, just as long as you don't plagiarize them. Like, feel free to steal the format, but don't actually plagiarize the videos. And the reason I'm fine with that is because there's no way you guys can match the quality and consistency upload schedule. No one can. It's too hard. The videos just take too long to make. You wonder why no one else does it when they're obviously successful? It's not because no one has tried. It's just because they do try and they're like, Oh shit, this is actually like really time consuming. Never mind. I'm going to go back to using my face cam and just uh, record, you know, physical footage of my deck profile. And we borrow the dual logs, dual logs editor. No. Surely this guy's stalling. Yeah, he's, he's, he's salty that I destroyed his hand. Dude, I commented on a video telling the creator, here's how you do this thing that stumped you and you did a workaround for, and they respond with thanks, and people white knight the comment like I insulted them. Yeah, like, people get really upset if you tell a streamer that their mic is low. But I also get it, because sometimes people will troll and say that your mic is low. Let's copyright reacting to things. There are laws against stealing ideas. Uh, there is and there isn't. Tell them maybe it'll be bad calling. I just want to show off my combo. How best support, which is kind of indirect support for Despia. I just want to put up my vids of crazy duels. I want to make a channel only showing my duels so I can er ease them and make money, make more recordings for everyone to see. I just want to put up my vids on my crazy duels. I want to make a channel only showing my duels so I can erase them and make more recordings for everyone to see. Oh, yeah, that's kind of how I started my channel in the first place. Duel Logs top 10 favorite videos win? Never. He's Malding? I'm not sure why he's Malding. He still has a play. Normal summon Pathfinders, search out Numeron Network, and boom, you got it. Unless it requires a discard. Does Numeron Network require a discard? Five minutes for a set pass. Yeah, I'm going to report him for slow playing. Don't worry. He's obviously super salty. Don't forget to report for slow play. It's annoying. It should be reported every time. I do. Don't worry. Must be thinking for ways to beat you. <laughs> he only has Planet Pathfinder in his hand. I literally know what he has in his hand. Surrender. <laughs> <laughs> Probably surrender when he had like zero seconds left. Confirm opponent's deck. Let me see. Numeron Network. During your main phase, and Numeron's normal spell card meets activation condition from your deck to the graveyard. This effect becomes that spell's effect when it's activated. Uh, I suppose him to four Numeron XC's monster. He had the combo. Why didn't he do it?
He had Abramax. Like, he had Planet Pathfinder at his hand. The effect was live. My negate was down. He could have went to Numeron Network, used Colin, did his combo. Like, he could have gone into it. He had it. I make a channel where I only spoil the movies for people who want to stay up to date but don't want time to watch. Mm. Here's a link to my vid. I finally put it up. No lie. Quality is dog poop, but it's enough to show the stuff. Here's a link. There's no link. You can't post links in my chat. You got to add it to me on Twitter. Honestly, I think it's crazy that some people do let people post links in their chat. Like, I don't trust none of y'all. Has been auto for streams weird. Like, I can barely hear the music of MD on your stream is right on my PC. But if I pull up your stream on my phone, the music almost always goes over your voice. That's weird. The music is half the volume of my voice. Did you get five gems for reporting players? Heck yeah, I'll report every player if that's the case. Give me all the gems. No Discord? No. Well, I do have a Discord. I just... I guess I can give you guys a, a limited invite to it. With 25 uses. No Discord link PP hands. Knife, how bad is the Discord? It's terrible. I had a friend join it once, a real life friend, and she left after a day because people kept calling each other gay. I was like, I don't even blame you. They don't do that anymore. I told them to stop. But I guess they do it sometimes when I'm not looking because I hardly check it. Royal Numeron Network, please receive gifts. No. Invalid? What's well, because there's only 25 spots in it. Gosh dang it, expired. Yeah, it's only for the first 25 people. Oh, the gift box? Well, it's just normal and rares, like I'm at capacity. I don't need to craft anything. Mostly just welts and vein these days. Super strange why everyone streams on Twitch have some weird differences between phone audio and audio from the PC. I have no idea. I've never heard of that. Now the server's in chaos. <gasps> Whatever. <clears throat> just craft every rare and normal. There's no button to just mass craft them all, though. It takes too long. Is it time to add Discord server invite and channel points? <laughs> no. When will you finish all the solo mode gates? I only ever play Master Duel on stream, so uh, probably never. That way the only mechanically skilled chat members can get it. Ooh, that's a good idea for it. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go now. Who who's who's streaming at night? Nobody streams at night. At night is it is a stream barren place. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning when I stream again because I'm a, I'm a morning streamer now. You can call me the morning stream logs. Ooh, the morning stream logs. MSTV. Ray Trump's Starcraft. This is Yu Gi Oh! though. Eclipse is streaming. Yeah, so is MST TV though. I sent you the link on Twitter. Check it out. Okay. He's doing Marvel Snap, the new card game. So? That's not Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't even watch him. 
Isn't Tuesday an off day from streaming? Oh, it is! It's on Wednesday. Never mind. I'm just so used to streaming every day.